will now show you how to connect your MA2000W printer to your home wireless network. After your machine is powered up and paper loaded, go to your router and press the WPS button. If you do not have a WPS button on your router, go to your router user guide and find out how to activate this feature. Once your router WPS is activated, go to your printer and press the power button once and then press the wireless button for one second. The wireless indicator lamp will start blinking. After about 30 seconds, you should see the wireless indicator lamp appear solid, indicating the machine and router are synced and your Kyocera printer is now connected to your network. Go to your computer and type in https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You will be taken to the Kyocera Download Center. Click on the country the machine is located in. Our example is the USA. Now type in MA2000 in the window on the screen. Find the MA2000W in our example and click it. Click on the blue arrow beside the operating system listed. Then click on the actual operating system. In our example, it is Windows 10 64-bit. Use the most recent Windows version available if possible. Next, click on the blue down arrow beside the Select a Language window. Scroll down and click on the blue down arrow under Easy Installation. The license agreement will appear. Scroll down and click on the blue box accepting the agreement terms. Now find the web installer.exe file and double click on that file. The web installation will begin. You will be asked if you want this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. Another license agreement page will appear. Scroll through the agreement and click on Accept. A resource and energy saving page will appear. Scroll through the page and click on OK. The web installer page will show three files. The install file, the uninstall file, and the maintenance file. Click on the install file. Follow the install wizard to successful completion. This completes installation for the Windows driver. For the Mac computer driver install, do the following. With the computer turned on, go to your router and press the WPS button. If you do not have a WPS button on your router, go to your router user guide and find out how to activate this feature. Once your router WPS is activated, go to your printer and press the power button once and then press the wireless button for one second. The wireless indicator lamp will start blinking. After about 30 seconds, you should see the wireless indicator lamp appear solid, indicating the machine and router are synced and your Kyocera printer is now connected to your network. Before you begin, you must print a status page with your IP address. The IP address tells your network devices where your Kyocera printer is located on your network electronically. Pull out this paper stopper. Press and hold the mode select key until the red attention indicator lamp blinks. Then release the mode select key. Wait about 20 seconds for the status page to print. Locate the wireless network IP address. You will need it to install the Mac OS driver. Go to your computer and type in https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You will be taken to the Kyocera Download Center. Click on the country the machine is located in. Our example is the USA. Now type in MA2000 in the window on the screen. Find the MA2000W in our example and click on it. Click on the blue arrow beside the operating system listed. Find the Mac OS X 10.9 or later listing and click it. Next click on the blue down arrow beside the select a language window. Scroll down and click on the blue down arrow. The license agreement will be presented. Scroll down and click on the blue box which agrees to the license terms. Now find this file osx 10.5 or higher dmg and double click on that file. The Kyocera Macintosh installer page will appear. Click on continue. Click on continue again. Click on continue one more time. The license agreement will appear. Click on Agree and click on Install. When the installation is complete, the green check mark will appear. Click on Close. Go to 
System Preferences, click on Printers and Scanners, click on the plus button. Now go to the IP address button as shown here. Under address, type in the IP address, the four segmented numbers, exactly as listed under wireless network printout. Now go to the name entry and change the IP address to a descriptive name. In our example, we will type My Kyocera Printer. Press on Add, located on the lower right side of the Add Printer window. After a few seconds, you should see the Kyocera MA2000 KPSL. You should now see your new printer with a green dot to the left and can add sharing information here. You can also make your Kyocera printer your default printer and you can set default paper size. We recommend letter size. Click on the red X here. Your Kyocera printer is now ready for use. This completes the Mac OS printer installation.